Hello, I am Dr. Vidya, Retina Specialist, Shaker Eye Hospital, Bank. Today I will be talking about Retinitis Pigmentosa. Retinitis Pigmentosa is a hereditary disorder of the retina. Here there will be the dysfunction of the photoreceptor cells and retinal pigment epithelium. Photoreceptors mainly, photoreceptor cells mainly, rod cells followed by the cone cells will be affected in this condition. It is also called as rod and cone dystrophy. The general prevalence of this condition is 1 in 4,000 to 5,000 throughout the world. It can present in autosomal dominant recessive, ex linked or any or even in the isolated forms. Generally, the presentation, uh, generally the patient presents with the complaints of decreased vision in the evening or night light, night blindness and decrease in peripheral visual field. Decrease in contrast sensitivity. Returning to the clinical picture of this condition, the reti in retina, there will be a lot of pigmentary changes in the mid periphery in the form of bony specules because of the dysfunction of rod and coal cells and the retinal pigment epithelium. And waxy paler with arterial narrowing, and uh, in few pages, uh, in few patients there may be macular involvement also in the form of macular degeneration or macular edema or epiretinal membrane. Uh, all these patients have to be undergone. If any uh, involvement of macular is there, all of them are being advised for the OCT macular to rule out any macular edema or ER, epiretinal membrane is there. So all the patients with retinitis pigmentosa has to be assessed through visual fields for any progression in the peripheral field loss and if there is any macular involvement, OCT macular has to be done now to rule out any changes in the macular. We are just being advised. Member, family, uh, family members of the uh, RP patients are advised for the screening and genetic counseling is also being advised and thorough counseling is, it has to be done. If there is any decreased vision due to macular edema, it has to be treated with medications. Low vision aids are really useful in the retinitis pigmentosa patients. Retinal implants have been developed and implanted in various centers in the world. Stem cell research is going on. Hence, any patients with retinitis pigmentosa are to be followed periodically with visual acuity and detailed retinal examination and peripheral visual field assessment has to be done. Thank you.